here with First 15 Live. Glad to have you on board. Um, last two Sundays, I was actually way, 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 way late. Um, and so this Sunday, I'm actually kind of on time. So uh, what's up? Glad to have you on here. Um, we are talking today about one verse um, that really sums up the, the life of a believer or should sum up the life of a believer. Uh, but I think we'll find that for most of us, uh, we lack in some of the areas of this verse, but it's a really powerful verse. Uh, thanks for those who are jumping on. Now remember, here at First 15 Live, here's the vision. Here's the goal. I want you to get it. We are trying to make spending time with God every day go viral. I mean, we want all believers everywhere to spend at least 15 minutes with God every day. And so this is part of it. Um, I will post the scripture here. And, uh, and I'll pin it to the top. And also, there'll be a worship video. Um, so I do need you to do me a huge favor, okay? A couple things I want you to do. Um, really, two. If you will share right now, share this video, whether you're watching live or you're watching later, please share right now. Um, that's one of the ways I know who's watching. And then comment. Let me know um, that you're watching. So those are the two ways. So, so share, um, comment. Um, if you've got to pick one of them, just share it. That helps me out big time. Helps out helps out our vision of, of reaching um, everybody, uh, helping it go viral, that people would spend time with God. So um, good morning. Um, Michelle, glad to have you on here. And Timothy, Sherry, good morning. Glad to have you on here. Michelle Ivy, glad to have you on here. Ashley, glad to have you on here. Margaret, Aunt Margaret, glad to have you on here. Um, thank you, Ashley, for sharing the video. If you haven't shared, go ahead and hit the share button real quick, y'all. Angie, good morning. We're about to dive in. Kevin, good morning. Jason Woodard, good morning. Uh, thank you, Tammy Prime, good morning, and, and the three others who shared. And let's dive right into this verse. So this is the famous chapter on love, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, uh, and from the New Living Translation. Um, I'm going to jump all the way down to verse 7. There's a lot of great verses in here, but this one verse kind of sums up um, if we would get this, if we would live like this, we would change the world. It says this, love never gives up. Love, uh, so love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Can you say that's uh, true about you? Uh, happy Sunday to you too, Victoria Young. Um, Betty Snow, glad to have you on here. Betty Snow Dunn. Uh, thank you, Kevin, and the six others who shared. Can we say that is true about us, that love never gives up? You know, uh, a Christian, as a believer, uh, we should believe, and we're actually at Life Church going to be talking about this some this morning, but we should press in. Um, we should believe uh, the, um, I think, uh, the, the New American Standard Version of this says uh, that uh, love bears all things. It bears all things. And then the next part says believes all things, right? And so a Christian, we are called to not just have enough faith and enough belief for ourselves, but to help others pick up their arms, man, to, to carry others. And that's what being a Christian is partly about. As we follow Christ, we do it together. Jesus always sent his disciples out two by two. Why? Because we're meant to. When one of us is weak, to the other one's to pick them up. And so, so love never gives up. We never give up on people, and we help other people to never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Um, we don't let any believer give up. Amen? We grab them by the arms. We pick them up. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this. We never lose faith. Or it says, believes all things. What does that mean? We don't back off of, of the truth of the gospel, that God is a healing God, that he's alive today. Uh, we believe it, we walk it, we experience it because we've talked to him. Um, I tell people all the time, I don't believe in God because the Bible tells me so. That's great. That maybe is a starting place. But can I tell you what? I believe in God because I've experienced Jesus for myself. And so you need to have a personal daily relationship with God. We don't lose the faith because we don't lose our relationship with Christ. And then it says, is always hopeful. My friend, how is your attitude? Are you full of hope? 
Would people describe you as a person who brings hope to other people's lives, who's always optimistic, who even in the, the, the face of situations, that person, uh, you know, they can handle it. They, um, they're, they're poised, they're happy, they're full of joy. Or are you somebody who mopes around and is like, oh, woe is me, the world's going to hell in a handbasket. God needs to come save us. I can't believe what the government's doing. I can't believe what the world's doing, what the schools are doing. What the Hey, listen, you should be a person full of hope because Christ lives inside of you and he's got a plan and he is working that plan and he's going to use you to do that plan and lastly they endure through every circumstance and this has always 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 been the mark of believers throughout history is that the church uh, though it's had its ups and downs it's good days it's bad days believers endure they endure they don't give up when things get hard they don't back down uh, because things aren't going their way they endure their faith stands their strength stands because christ is standing inside of them come on somebody help me out this morning i hope you're getting pumped for church sunday that's what we are celebrating as you come to church this morning is that we serve a god and we are part of a church that endures through every circumstance that it never it never gives up it never loses faith it's always hopeful and it endures through every circumstance i hope that describes you um it doesn't always describe me if i'm honest and i'm sure most of us would say that that if we're honest it doesn't always describe us but let's pray this morning that we would live up to that that god would do something inside of us even this morning at church and he'd identify one of these areas in your life and say here's where you need to step it up do you need to do you need to help others do you need to never give up on people uh is the lord trying to work on that uh i like it jason great appetizer um, is there an area of your faith where you've backed down believing God for something? You haven't believed all things? Um, you, you've lost the faith a little bit? Um, is, there, is there an area where um, you, you, you've, you've been, your attitude has been hopeless? Your attitude hasn't been full of hope and joy? And uh, Have you been enduring all things? Have you been enduring? Are you, have you been enduring well? Come on, somebody. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for everybody watching this, God, that you would make us those four things, God. You would develop us, develop our character, develop our hearts, develop our relationship with you so that we could walk in those areas. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for those who need healing, God. I know there's been several prayer requests this, way for, uh, this week for people who needed healing. And I, I pray right now for those. And I pray for Greg and for Miss... Um, for, um, Greg and, and uh, well, yeah, let's pray for Miss Tammy, God, for, um, I know she's going through a lot as she's helping him through that. Lord, we just pray for healing. Lord, bless their family right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for um, Miss Anita, God, that you would be there for her. You would um, move in her uh, or bring hope to her right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray for Miss Cindy, the same, God, absolute healing, God, and for Miss B and Ramsey, God, healing, healing, healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I hope you're ready to have a great Sunday. Um, if you haven't shared, whether you're watching live or later, please share. Please comment so we can have a little dialogue conversation there. Uh, I'll be catching up on some of those this week. And so I'm um, excited about what God's going to do here at Life Church, and I'm excited what he's going to do in your church, wherever you go to church at. Uh, God is on the move, especially as we make spending time with God every day go viral. So thanks for all your help. Um, and, and you're a part of something that's going to continue to grow and continue to, to be bigger than ourselves. And um, because God's got a plan, and we get to be part of it. Love you guys, and I, I will see you tomorrow morning at 6.30.